our second video on the dot product uh, and our second formula for the dot product. So if we have two vectors, say u and v, we can say that the dot product of u and v is equal to the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Now those are both numbers, um, cos theta. And what does theta represent? Uh, where theta is the angle or the acute angle between the vectors. Now just think about what that means for a second. Um, we have a vector here and we might have like another vector um, here. Now I'm, set, I'm purposely drawing them apart from each other because remember that vectors don't actually have a home. They can move around anywhere. They're just direction and length. So if I now take that vector and bring it up to this vector, like that, if I take the magnitude, if we call this u, if we take the magnitude of u, the length of that one, and the length of that one, and then the acute angle between them, we can find the dot product. Magnitude times magnitude times cos the angle between them. So at its most simple, we can use this version of the dot product um, to find the dot product of these two vectors. We know the magnitude of this vector is 5. We can see the magnitude of this vector is 4. And we can see the angle between them is 60 degrees. So very, very simply, we could say that u dot v is equal to the magnitude of u, 4, times the magnitude of v, 5, times cos 60. Okay, so I know that cos 60 is 1 half, so 4 times 5 times 1 half is equal to 10. Now you might not know that cos 60 is 1 half, but trust me on it. So we can say that the dot product of u, v is 10. That's our most simple version here. Uh, now, the fact that the dot product can be defined in this way is actually interesting and it's got a couple of unique properties for the dot product. Now if u and v are parallel, something interesting happens. So if we do u dot v for parallel vectors, what do we get? Well, we get um, the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times cos and what's the angle between two parallel vectors? Well, one vector looks like that, and the other vector looks like that. And we can move those vectors right on top of each other, so the angle between them is zero. Now, if you, multi if you put cos zero into your calculator, you'll get the number one, which means that u dot v for parallel vectors times one which means that u dot v for parallel vectors is just u, uh, the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v for parallel vectors. What about perpendicular vectors? Well, if two vectors are perpendicular, let's look at what happens. We get u dot v, we get the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v um, times cos, and perpendicular vectors look like that there's 90 degrees between them. Now, cos 90, if you type that into your calculator, you'll get the number 0. So, u dot v equals u times v, magnitude times magnitude times 0, anything times 0 is 0. So, the dot product of perpendicular vectors is 0. So, important information here and here, that's what happens when you've got parallel and perpendicular vectors. This is like a test to see if two vectors are parallel or perpendicular. Important information here. Uh, we are going to do something else, a little bit fancy with the dot product uh, in a coming video. We're going to be able to find the angle between two vectors.